welcome to Sustainable YXE. For this iteration of the Sustainable series, we are going to be talking about really fast, sustainable actions you can take in your life in Saskatoon. Um, so there'll be really short videos with one action, a place that you can go in Saskatoon, a community resource, and of course some SBL resources for that. And today we're making banana uh, fertilizer or banana tea as some people call it which is a good way to use up banana peels and it's so easy that anyone can do it. Are yeah. you gonna help today Arthur? Yeah. yeah, can you say hi? Hi. Nice smile. All right, so Arthur's gonna hold our jar of banana peels and tell you about it. What's in the jar Arthur? Banana. Just banana peels, right? And do they look all sticky or do they look kind of dry? <coughs> yeah. So some indoor plants, um, if you put really sticky bananas on them, that might attract some little flies and gnats and stuff. I've never had that problem, but I was reading online that some people do. So I like to use really um, kind of more dried out banana peels and not put in a lot of the actual pieces of banana. And I keep my banana peels whole. Some people cut them up. But if you're really worried about attracting bugs in your home, which again, I don't think will be a problem, you can always dry these out, either right, laying them flat on a baking sheet in the sun for quite a while or baking them until they're dry. And then you just blend them into a fine powder and put that into the soil. And bananas are of course high in a lot of nutrients uh, like potassium and calcium. So a lot of plants really, really like that. So step one, eat your banana. Step two, Put the peel in a jar, and step three, we, we fill it with water. So you wanna make sure that your banana peels are covered with water. So fill the jar right to the top. No, I'm fill, I'm fill. Okay, you're gonna hold it? Yeah. Okay, now we're getting the banana covered. Alright, so our banana is covered, we'll put the jar on. You can shake it if you want, but if you're gonna shake it, make sure the lid's on tight. Alright, sure, shake it. And then once you have the lid on tight, just stick it down in a, a bottom cupboard or someplace that's not in the sun and leave it for two days to a week if you want. Some will do longer. I usually aim for about three days. So here we have our mix a few days later. Uh, you can tell it's quite dark, a little cloudy, and now it's ready to use. So I'm just gonna take my little snake plant here. Looks like it's ready to have the nutrients. Just pop the lid off. And just give it a little sip. And that's it. You can spread that on your other potted plants or even in your garden bed. It will add a nutrient boost to your, your plant friends. And now that we're done with the liquid, once I pour it all out, I'll just take that banana peel and compost it. So no waste there at all. Hope you try it at home and I'll put up a few book resources for you to look up in case you're looking for some other recipe ideas or just some general sustainable reads. Have a nice day.